Oh my god, they're Charmander squirrels! <laughs> Look at these little char lizards. That's amazing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Cube World. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit these models into some cooler models and also how to install other mods like the Pokemon Cube World model mod. And it'll turn like these Scobles into Tauroses. So let's jump right into that. First you're going to want to go to this site that I have a link in the description for and you're going to want to download the CWME Cube World model editor. Once you've downloaded the Cube World Model Editor, you're going to want to use something like 7-Zip and extract all of those files. Once you've extracted those files, you're going to want to open the folder that those files are inside of, and you're going to want to click on the EXE and make sure it doesn't say extract or else it's not uh, going to be working correctly. So once it's actually working correctly, you should see this platform where there's cubes and you can highlight certain cubes inside of your platform to start editing and adding blocks, etc. And pressing Control Z to undo. And then you're going to want to pull some of your actual files into this model editor. So I'm going to go File, Open, Database, this PC. And you're going to want to find your Cube World um, folder full of sprites. So I'm going to go into my Steam folder, then then Steam Apps, and then the Common folder, Cube World, and then Sprites is one I'm going to want to select. And now I can open individual files from that Cube World Sprites folder. This is where all of your um, game sprites live. So I am a orc, as you saw before, and I looked up which character head I'm using. You can find that by finding the order in the character creation tab of which your head or which your body uh, comes in. But mine was orc head uh, male 5. So I can open that up right now and now you can see my um, my character's head. Actually this is the wrong head. I'm cube. I'm number 4. So now this is the exact head that I'm using in game and he's got this big scar across his face. That's how I know it's him. And say I wanted to erase his ears and give him Shrek ears for some reason. I can right click these blocks to start deleting them. And then, look he's got a little ear hole. And then I can go to options, brush color, and select a lime green and click OK and start adding on blocks to my character's, uh, oops, just deleted a block, but Control Z fixes that. Actually, this is a little, a little high, so I'm gonna just plug this hole in my character's head, and, um, or it's a little low, and I'm gonna put these blocks here. And you use the middle mouse button to actually spin your camera around like so. And, and so this is as far as you can go out as you can see. So let's uh, remove some of these blocks. And uh, there, that looks pretty much like a Shrek to me. <laughs> a really wonky one. And let's remove some of these blocks. And go to options. Unfortunately, you can't uh, copy and paste any of your build, which kind of stinks. But uh, this is a pretty bare bones product. But uh, you, can, you can get done with what, what you're looking for, pretty much. You can edit your character as you please. So, there's my Shrek for now. Uh, I'm sure you guys don't care that much about what my character looks like, but I will also actually, I'm going to change his eyes to um, white, so they're a little bit more like Shrek's, the whites of his eyes here. Um, okay, that looks a little bit more like Shrek. Maybe I should also make it get rid of the scar on his face. So let's go like so. So it kind of still does look like a scar, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's not bad. And before you save your .cub file, you're going to want to copy the sprite folder onto somewhere safe so you can reload all of your files if you so please. 
So you uh, can go back to the vanilla version because you don't want to lose. Um, if if you're modding your game, you don't want to fully lose the your character files, the original character files. I will maybe download. Um, I'll maybe add a download link to the video description for the original sprite files. So if you guys do mess up, so now let me just go ahead and save this and I'm going to save it as the same name .cub and I'm going to save it to the same folder and hopefully that will overwrite it correctly so now if we jump into the game start game and now you can see that um, my orc has those shrek ears which are amazing and ridiculous and once you get in the world, we've got our Shrek ears. And, and now let's get into how to install a mod, specifically the Pokemon mod. Go to the link in the description and download this Mediafire Pokemon file if you actually want the Pokemon uh, mod. And I'm gonna show you, so you should um, find that folder and unzip that folder. And right here, the folders that are inside, you can, you can check out the human models. Uh, these are like Ash, Ketchum and stuff, or Red as they called it in the original game. But I'm more focused on the Pokemon models. So let's go into the Pokemon folder. And there's tons of Pokemon. And these were just replaced general mobs throughout the game. I'm just gonna show you a couple of them. You can go ahead and install all of them by simply going into the ones that you want. Um, let's go into uh, Taros. So I'm going to go into Tauros and I'm going to also pull up my Cube World folder for sprites. And let's just scroll down to the Skull Bowl just so we know what we're doing and we can see it in real time. Skull Bowl body. But I'm just going to copy over these full, these five files into my sprites folder and click replace the files in destination and you've installed this mod for this individual mob now so if you want all of the Pokemon you'd have to do that for every single one just go in pull the files out and drop them in here replace and once you open up your game let's actually do one more just to make sure let's go and grab uh, Mareep because I actually have a sheep pet in cube world right now copy that in there replace the files in destination and let's open up cube world one last time we've got our shrek ears and we've got mareep by our side our beautiful babe mareep and that shows that the editor is working fine and we saved it in the correct folder and now we can ride mareep around the beautiful world of cube world and the tauruses that we updated as well the skull bowl models are looking great so I'm going to go ahead and after this video is done, I'm going to install all of the Pokemon and continue my playthrough with all of the Pokemon. It's going to be a Pokemon Cube World playthrough and I think it's going to spice up my game, a little bit of personalized gameplay and I'm going to just get wrecked by this uh, Skull Bowl right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something and I hope you enjoyed personalizing your world for you when it comes down to it. And somebody once told me the world was going to roll me, but honestly, I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at these little growlets and Mareeps. It's a whole squad of them. This is adorable. I'm going to get them all. Oh, wait. Collies are legendary. Oh, legendary growlets. Oh. <laughs>